What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be previewing round 21 Port Adelaide versus Richmond at the Adelaide Oval. It's a big game in terms of uh, the Tigers hopes for a final spot. It's a big game for Port Adelaide in terms of membership round. It's a members recognition round for I think the whole of the AFL but specifically for Port Adelaide this week so would be great to see as many members as there as possible. Unfortunately, I have a fundraising event on Saturday night, so I won't be able to attend the game, which I'm a bit sad about, but definitely um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the team can bring um, after a loss against uh, the Pies by a goal on uh, last Saturday at the G. Whilst Richmond, they bet the Lions on the weekend after a magnificent six-goal comeback in the last quarter to win the game. So. Very much looking forward to see what this one brings. I'm not uh, too keen to see a, a, a very good Richmond outfit because I think um, this game could go a couple of ways and that's what we'll discuss in this preview. So let's get straight into it. Preview, round 21. A couple of things I'd like to tick off before we uh, get right into the preview. Firstly, I do apologise again for doing a uh, preview in the car. Um, work's been flat out, so I just wanted to at least get some content out this week. And uh, this is the best place to do it in the car. Um, and I feel like I'm one with everyone, so you can come for a ride and let's do a preview. Um, secondly, Stevie Motlop retiring this week, 217 games, 229 goals, and that famous showdown goal in 2018. Definitely um, a player that's been a polarising figure at the Port Adelaide Football Club since he joined in 2018. Definitely hasn't hit the mark that I think a lot expected um, has had a few niggles. I think his 2020 and 2021 were probably his best years in terms of what he put out. Um, he was a fit and firing small forward. He definitely hit goals. Um, was a leading figure down forward. And whilst didn't have the impact, I think many were hoping was serviceable enough. Um, and definitely was a uh, someone that, a, that fans did grow to love, but also were de definitely a very frustrated by him. But overall... A good career um, between Geelong and Port Adelaide, so I do wish him all the best going into the future. I won't lie, when I did see that there was going to be a player announcement on uh, on uh, Tuesday, um, I definitely thought, far out, don't be Robbie. Uh, I think Robbie's got one more in him, but I'll talk about that in a uh, player management video coming up very shortly. For now, though, it is Richmond. It is this week. They're going to have... Well, three threats down four that are going to absolutely test us, and that's Cumberland, that is Rewalt, and that is Lynch. And look, I think um, overall uh, they've got a polarising forward line. We know what they did last time we met uh, at the G. It was a close encounter. They definitely had the fast start, and again, I think it's going to come down to us playing a four-quarter performance. These, re these previews, by the way, are going to get shorter and shorter because I just repeat the same thing. One thing I'd like to discuss um, as well is uh, something that we could try this week, and that's um, Ollie Lord coming into the side. And I think as a defender, that could be a, as a trialling figure. You know, we're obviously going to be looking to see exactly what we can come up with in the off season and what can be brought into the team to make it better. Um, talks of Josh Dunkley from the Dogs coming across. Isaac Rankin seems to be up for grabs and is is an SA boy. Um, you know, and obviously we've got draft picks in the bank, but also a bit of cap space. So. A tall defender, a bulky tall defender might be an option as well to add. And I think he's definitely a key reason, um, or not he himself, but that position is a key um, position we need to fill. Um, so hopefully uh, we can find something like that in the off-season. But for the meanwhile, t trying things might be the way to go for Ken. Um, and, you know, to really just let loose and have a bit of fun with footy this week. Um, try different things. Try play for people in different positions. And just try to win the freaking game of football, please. I think the goal, and I'm very scared that the last three games could be a loss. And that's what I'm fearing. And this week, um, you know, we could play Havoc and really cause Richmond some issues. And I would love to see us, you know, knock them off. Member, members recognition around at home. Um, we owe them a couple. We definitely owe them a couple. So it would be very nice to see that occur. Um, and we know the last time that they played at the Adelaide Oval, Port Adelaide with Robbie Gray kicking the sealer with a few minutes to go was absolutely sensational. So we've had a hell of a rivalry with Richmond over the last few years. It's definitely been a very exciting encounter we've had in the games we've played against them. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see what Ken and his men do this week. In terms of selection, hey, look, 
One thing after the other with Port, um, I would like to see a bit of a selection shake-up. I've mentioned Darcy Byrne jones as a possibility to be coming out of the side. We've got Bonner and Houston um, to come in, so definitely looking at Byrne jones with Burgoyne having a fantastic game of football last week. But do you look at the midfield rotations and see what we can throw in there? Overall, it's just a mentality factor going into a quarter of football, and that's the second quarter. And the third quarter last week, second quarter has seemed to be our catalyst over the last few weeks as well. So I think focusing on those things and making sure uh, we can absolutely turn those things around is something that uh, will have to be addressed in the meetings this week. In terms of Richmond, I think overall they've just got factors where they, they, they finally found a way to win a game. And that could spear them on massively, and that's going to give them serious momentum. In saying that, Port Adelaide haven't found a way to win a game. And this week, that could change. You know, it could bring a bit of momentum into our game. And I know our season's all but, uh, well, not all but done. It is done. It's finished. I don't want to hear about any mathematical calculations. I don't want to hear percentages, nothing. Focus on footy each week. Enjoy footy and have fun. That's my message for the rest of the year in terms of games. Um, but the focus on Richmond is definitely, you know, they've got some star power still, and Shy Bolton, I think Noah Bolton's be coming into his own. Cumberland, as I said, with the trio up forward, they're going to be dangerous. Um, and they've got some star power around the ground that's um, going to match up really well against us. And I would love to see a few more inputs um, from our players in terms of efforts. I think that's, I'd love, yeah, as I said, I'd love to see a selection shake up. Um, and bring in some different players and trial a few. In terms of a tip, let's go reverse psychology. I'm going to tip Port by negative five. If that makes sense, it makes sense. If not, I think we'll win. I, I just have a feeling that we'd like to beat up on teams um, when we're trying to ruin their finals hopes and dreams. And, you know, I think uh, we've had a good record of that of late So uh, over the years. So why not ruin Richmond's chances of making the eight? Uh, I know a few Carlton fans would be pretty ecstatic if we can do that. So let's beat the Tigers this week and um, let's have a best on ground performance from Travis Boke eh? because, hey, look, he's um, hurt his hand this week. He'll definitely play. That's been a given. So hopefully he can uh, nurse that through the rest of the year. And Connor Rosie as well, by the way, finishing, I think he's top six in the coaches' votes, only 13 behind Tuke Miller, who's top with 88. A very good chance to take that out. An unlikely winner from the season that's been happening, and a few might debate that Ken Hinckley's giving him some generous votes, but overall, he's had a fantastic year since round six, and thoroughly deserved to keep getting those votes, so we'll see how that pans out as well. Support fans, let me know in the comments below your tips and uh, your thoughts on this week's game. I know there's only three to go, and trust me, I'm looking forward to the end of the season and seeing what pans out, um, but overall, game footy still to be won, wins are crucial. Um, and, you know, I think it's, it's good to celebrate with the members and get a win this week. That'll be the most important thing. Celebrate with the members. Recognise you know, the contributions we've had. 60,000 members this year. We deserve a little bit back after the year we've had. Just finally, I'd like to congratulate Aaron Phillips, and Foley, and the whole leadership group of Port Adelaide AFLW. A massive congratulations to all of those for leadership um, qualities that they've had. And captain, vice-captain, the leadership group. It's absolute honour for the first ever AFLW team for Port Adelaide. And I'll be kicking off that series next week um, to celebrate and, you know, be a part of the channel. It's going to be a new playlist that will be able to continue on and, and hopefully we can uh, attract new fans as well with the AFLW side going into August, September and October. So, um, yeah, it all starts with uh, the AFLW very, very shortly, not too long to go. Thank you so much for watching, Port fans. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content coming your way for the rest of the season. My name is Anthony and as always... Count the pair.